You're watching Chess Now, episode 75. We're broadcasting live on the 21st of October, 2010. I'm your host, George Grasser. Today, our guest is Elliot Varenberg from Fairlawn, New Jersey. How you doing, Elliot? Hi, George. Okay. Please have your computer or smartphone nearby for our upcoming episodes to see the live moves that are be taking place. See you in two weeks. The next episode is in two weeks. Okay. Elliot, you have the white pieces, so you go first. Good luck, sir. Good luck, George. Okay. Oh, it's a cascade. D4. Well, you want to Okay, sorry. D4. E4. Bishop G7. Bishop again. Oops. Didn't do uppercase. A B, yeah. Okay. Got it that time. Bishop G7. Knight to F3. Pawn to C5. I'd like to uh, acknowledge Eric Schiller for showing, showing this opening to me. My pawn on g6, my bishop on g7, and my pawn on c5 is called a pterodactyl. Knight to c3. I'd also like to give recognition to King's Crusher on YouTube. He has uh, a lot of videos up that are very instructive. So if you want to improve your game, look up King's Crusher on YouTube. Queen to A5 is my move. Thank you. C takes D4. Knight to D2. Knight to E2. D2. What, what's your rating, Elliot? 11.25. Queen to B6. Bishop to F4. Bishop to F4. Bishop to F4.
Try pawn to e5. e5. What was that? I was just going to mention that um, we have the phone number up and the, uh, the, board, the view of the board is a lot crisper this time, so hopefully some of our newer viewers can see the position that they want to call in and comment on it. Yeah, if you guys want to call in, the number is 212-747-1483. You can call in and comment on the game if you like. Knight takes e5. Knight takes e5. Knight to e5. Bishop captures e5. Bishop takes e5. Bishop to e5. Queen to a5 check. Queen to a5. C3. Okay. C3. Now if you want, Elliot, we can start a new game if you don't want to suffer on with this. Oh, yeah. Just up to you. Okay, how's that, Lester? Uh, Elliot, because he's, a, he's down material, you'd like to start a new game. Is that all right with you? Yeah, just type in save and enter. Okay. Save. And just, just set up the pieces of what we have in the white. You have save. white? Save. Oh, that's this piece. If you feel you're getting a little nervous, you can just ask me and I'll give you a, a tip. It's not about me. Hello? Um, it's more. Hello? Oh, wow. Uh, we don't have to use the computer for the next Okay. Time. Okay, sure. Yeah? Hey, how's it going there? I'm good. Tell me you talk. Yeah, you're on the air, buddy. No, I was looking. This is the number for the chest thing that's on TV right now, right? I'm trying to pawn the E4. No, I was... Pawn to E6, the French chest. defense. I never even heard what the guy said. What did he say? Pawn to D4. Yeah, but they just started over, right? Yeah, you're on the air. Yeah, we started a new game over. Sorry. So, say that again? Yeah, we did. We started a new game over. Yeah, I know, but I was trying to figure out why, because usually when I play chess... Yeah? <laughs> and it's not over till it's over. Yeah, uh, when you're pieced down at certain levels of, uh, of chess, you can just resign. Oh, no, because I was watching the game, right? I was like, he just uh, he asked him, do you want to quit? And, and then he asked, you know, whoever else in the background, he's like, is it all right if we start over? I was like, you know, he said, yeah. I was like, but if I was playing, I would have said no. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's, it's good to keep playing on it at certain levels, but that I was pretty confident that he could just drag it out, but there was no hope. Uh, so, no, nah, because, you know, I played like this way, which was longer. Yeah. And I played with the clock. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, we can't seem to figure out how to make a clock work on the set, unfortunately. We're, we're, we're still working on it. Even though we're... No, no, it looks nice because I'm watching. I know they both know how to play, you know. Yeah. Pretty well, especially knowing that the board doesn't, you know, have no numbers on it. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, you know, amateurs where they have, like, it says E3 here. They just know it by heart, which is good. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no, nah, I just um, I just wanted to call to, you know, say my comment, okay? Yes, I appreciate it. Thank you for calling. All right. Bye-bye. Okay, what has transpired in this game? I'll start from the beginning. E4, E6, D4, D5, Knight to C3, Bishop to B4, Pawn to E5. Bishop. This is this game, right? Yes. And Bishop, I'm watching. Yes. Bishop takes C3 check. Pawn takes C3. Yeah, well, right now I see there's a, a big blockage. <laughs> Well, the French defense is a blockade type of defense. The way the pawns are played. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Pawn to f6. I didn't expect that at all. You know? Yeah. 
that, that's common. You see how he did that? Because he had to. Because someone had to give us something to make any more moves. Well. And it's always good to push your pawns in four. I, you know, in I think pawn to f6 this early. Yeah. Well, I mean, well, you know. I'm going to play bishop to d3 and see if I could do something like, with that diagonal. They got, like, knight attacks, <laughs> you know. They like to, you know, some people like to bring their queen out earlier. Yeah. You know, to threaten other, you know, to threaten the king. I've played for black when white has played pawn to e4. I've played pawn to d5, and when they've captured e takes d5, I have recaptured queen takes d5. Yeah, well, you know, what I'm saying is because the reason why people are king so early is because they don't want the chance, you know, because later on, well, a lot of people, when they play chess, they, they like to castle early. Yes, mo most people do like to castle early. Yeah, they do. <laughs> they don't waste no time. They just move their pieces up front and castle to the side they want to protect. You know, the side they think they can protect the, the best. Yeah, castling is a good defensive move, and it's knight to e7. Nice. All right, I'm going to play e takes f6 because I think there's a defect with knight to e7. Okay. He played g, pawn on g7, recaptures f6. Now what does he do when I go queen to h5 check? So I can hear you right. I played queen to h5 check. Uh -oh. So he can't go knight to g6 because I'll just take the knight off the board and h8 is unprotected. I also don't recommend king to f8 because of bishop to h6 check. Oh, you also call on what's on the board, right? Yes. I, I'm, I'm trying to figure out a good plan for him, uh, for my opponent. Uh, uh -oh. King to d7, yeah. That is a very awkward He still has to move this card. He moved up one. Only one. Okay. Did you kill him? I don't see. He needs to bring his knight out now. Well, not really, because he got one out. I'm going to go with bishop to a3. Knight on B to C6. He moved an arrow. <laughs> now I'm going to play Knight. Knight to E2. Hey, it's not touchable. <laughs> it is. <laughs> well, uh, I I play tournament chess, but. In all my years, I have never enforced touch move on my opponent. I don't like that either, you know. But no, I think it's a good thing, you know, because it teaches them about the mistakes. Oh, they yeah, made. it's within the rules, but, but I don't think anybody who's yeah. ever touched a piece I've, I don't I've, like I've either, made them move. You know? Especially if someone plays against me, they be like, you know, I haven't played that much. I get a chance, sure. Yeah. It's good to but, give you know, people a chance. There's not much of that in this world where people actually care about others. Uh-oh, his queen is in trouble. Do you know what happened to me a few months ago? I, I gave a, I offered some children chess lessons and I'm paying a $500 fine for doing that. Wow. Very annoying. Serious? Yes, it Why? happened in Haworth, New Jersey. That's illegal? <laughs> yeah, it's illegal to offer chess lessons if you don't have a permit. Oh, Elliot played pawn to b6, and I played queen to f7. That's crazy, though. Wow. Yeah, it's insane. Oh, Rather I'll insane. Play, I like that, though. <laughs> Even if it was illegal when I was a cop, I would say, uh, that's trying to let go, what? You, well, you... unfortunately, we have trained our children to be afraid of strangers. So when I offered those free lessons to them, they thought I was trying to perpetrate death upon them. So they yeah, felt it necessary to... Too many sickles out there, but... Yeah. yeah. Uh, but I mean, just for the Halloween spirit, you know, when you see a guy offering you chess lessons, it does not I necessarily say, mean... Yeah, show me. He wants to show <laughs> you in the trunk of his car. A uh, pawn to f5, knight to f4.
getting sick is a real problem. Why? He got a push on him. I don't know what can he what can he do about the weakness at E6. Probably the pawn. He gonna open that up. He mm. gonna lose. Pawn forward. He's gonna be the same way. He's gonna tell him again. He lost. <laughs> Where do you He's want still to there, right? If I decide to push my pawn, yeah. Can you take that? Oh yeah, but that'll be dev devastatingly open. I've got bishop takes f5. I've got knight takes d5. Mm -hmm. um, if I were to give I a suggestion, the 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 way, there's nothing. The there's no suggestion I can even give you. Is there? No, maybe queen g8, right? Queen G8 might cover it by X-ray attack. X-ray defense. Yeah, excuse me. Queen to G8 for Black seems to seems to hold it. No, I'm gonna hang up. Uh, oh, okay, all right. You take care. So I'll call back so we can get your number so you can come on the show. Yeah, call back so we can put you on the show. We can get your phone number. You got my phone number? No, call back after you hang up. Wait, say that again? Call back just after you hang up, because we don't want to publish your phone number over the air. So call back as soon as you hang up, okay? I guess try Queen G8. All right, Queen G8. And that covers the weakness at E6, which was a critical weakness. Hello? Hey, how's it going? Hello? Hey, how you doing? You're on the air. Chess now. Oh, great. Yeah, I was looking at um, queen? Your, your queen. I was wondering, you just moved it. I would have tried to um, queen to lure, lure your, his queen out the way with his rook. Oh, turn down your TV because we're getting feedback. Okay. I, I just played Queen Captures G8. Okay. Right, right. Yeah, it was, okay. yeah, I was looking for him to do something like that to free up some. So Elliot yeah. played Rook takes my Queen at G8. All right. Yeah, so. Anyway. I am going to play. King to d2, planning on putting one of my rooks on the e-file to cause some trouble there. Okay, all right, we apologize for losing those calls. Okay, I want to return. What do you need help again? Uh, rook to e1 is the threat. Yeah. I don't know if he can play pawn to e5 because if I take it, then he recaptures the knight. And then I pulled one of the rooks over. Will that be too much pressure? Yeah, so what can we do to protect e6? With what? With my rook. Okay. Then I just go pawn to d2. Yeah, that would be fine. Okay. I probably still have knight g7. Then you might get the rook trap in there, though. Okay, let's see what we can do. King back. All right, king to d8 is what Elliot has chosen. So I'm going to play rook on a1 to e1. Oh, change your microphones, huh?
Well, he's got a major defect at E6, and uh, I don't I don't think the game is survivable for Black, unfortunately, again. There's no good way for Black to cover my threat. Knight takes pawn check at e6. I'll probably have to defend g2 before I do that. Yeah, yeah, I, I, I watch his videos. He's a good one. He's, along with King's Crusher, Dragon Lalek, and uh, there's a couple more out there. There's New York City Chess. They, they put up uh, good videos. They have a lot of glitz. And there's Chess Queens with uh, Alexander Kostiniak. All right, uh, Elliot has chosen Rook to E8 for his move. So I have no more pressure on G2, so now I will just capture E6. Knight takes pawn at E6 with check. Elliot recaptures, bishop takes e6, and I recapture the bishop, rook takes e6. King to d7. Rook on h to e1. Pawn to a6. Okay, bishop takes e7, knight takes e7. I'm gonna play pawn to e f4. Pawn to b5. Rook on e1 to e3. I plan on moving my bishop on d3 to e2 and then over to h5 to try to dislodge that rook that's on e8. Pawn to b4, sacrificing the pawn there, huh? If I take it, take back. 
So I'll just grab it with bishop takes b4. If I take back with a c pawn, then my pawn at b4 would be unprotected. So we're in the last couple of minutes, so we, we might slip in another call here. Okay. Knight captures b4, c captures b4. Knight to g6. I'll just trade everything off and see if I have a good ending. Rook takes e8. Rook takes e8. Rook captures. Rook captures e8. King captures e8. Bishop captures f5. Knight takes f4. 